Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's a doozy. I think it's almost stopped raining now. I'm getting ready to go outside, get my clothes on, and go out there and trudge around in the mud. Um, but when it was raining, I sat here a little bit longer than normal drinking my coffee. And, uh, I became confused about something and maybe you can help me understand it. Okay. So last night was the Republican debate. I missed it because I was watching the Real Housewives of Orange County. And then I watched the rest of Yeti attacks. So, and then it went into ghost adventures, but I went to bed. Okay. I was tired. But anyway, I start watching the debate and I'm like, yeah, okay. And then they start yelling and screaming at each other. And I was like, yeah, okay. So I started looking for something else and I wanted to see, and it said that Donald Trump was speaking at a union. And this is what it said. Donald Trump. Donald Trump's speech with union workers. I click it on. There's the ticker in front of it. it. Says Donald Trump or Trump with meets with union workers like that. There's signs in the crowd that says union workers for Trump. And I'm listening to him and he addresses them as if they're union workers and he's standing behind them, beside them, whatever. And then I find out that this is a non-union shop. Oh, I imagine the managers and supervisors and owners of that company were like, are you kidding me? Because yeah, he come right on in. I'll, I'll talk to your workers. And then he, he made it appear with signs and tickers that he was at a union shop. He was 50 miles away from the picketers. I mean, am I the only one that saw that? The signs, the ticker in front of him. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a facade or a mirage. That's a lie. That concerned me. Because when you started talking to these workers, and then I realized that they were non-workers, then I went back and watched it again, and he was lying while he was talking, but no one was understanding it. I mean, I don't know. That confused How can that happen? Why? did it happen? I don't know. Because I've never, I've not seen anything that talks about it. Does everybody just not pay attention? <laughs> that was a setup. And that company should be very, very angry. That company should be very, very angry if they didn't. You're at a non-union shop. You're addressing them in the very beginning of your speech as if they are union workers. And you're saying you're right there with them while they're striking. These people in this shop were not striking. I would have been standing there like, what the, f what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm confused, you guys. And then there were signs in the crowd of non-union workers, union workers for Trump. The union workers didn't want him near. <sighs> the union dude, the big guy. 
Man, he brought out some facts. Why? They didn't want him near. Just something. But let me, let me insert something else. Okay, I really wasn't going to do this, but I have to. Okay. <laughs> Pardon me. I listen to everything, okay, and <laughs> I listened to him talk about electric boats. When I got to the electric boats, I know he hates windmills. He says they're going to kill whales, and they do this, and they do that. I'm sorry. Anytime we can get better energy, you know, still dig the coal, still, still drill, but man, we need some alternatives. And this is where I always say that Jimmy Carter was before his time because China listened to Jimmy Carter about, you know, alternatives. So I don't care what y'all think about him, but that was the right kind of forward thinking then on energy that was squashed. Okay. There's room for everything. There's room for all sorts of energy help your people save money okay if it's just in the house help them get solar panels or a windmill just saying anyway, <sighs> anyway. he was talking about the electric boats and he said well if it crashes and it sinks? Am I going to get electrocuted sitting on a battery? And I think I gave them a great idea. I stopped the video. To absorb what I had just heard. I'm just going to throw out there anybody else who heard this would would realize how strange it is submarines one example underwater vehicle almost totally electric <laughs> come on really That tickled me. And then I hit play again, and I'm listening to the rest of it. <sighs> I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to go there and critique everything because I just, I can't. <laughs> I just can't. I know that the Real Housewives of Orange County made more sense in the freak show than the freak show that I was watching this morning to catch up on everything. I would much rather watch that over again. Because now I see tomfoolery. When you say you're in a union shop, and you are not and you have signs planted in the crowd to say you're in a union shop you have your ticker that says you were in a union a union shop and you talk to them in the beginning that you are there in a union shop and you're right behind them as they pick it but you're inside the shop with non-union shop non-union workers <laughs> it's a scam so I have to say, I'm really upset over this. Y'all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. Bye, y'all.